15 lineups for their squads. First for Manila Montat FC. Beginning with number one, Mark Jones. Number four, Alimar Ambong. Number five, team captain, Vincent Gavino. Number six, Drexler Valencia. Number nine, Marcos Apor. Number 16, Renante Bangi. Number 20, Allen Abad. Number 21, Dave Deloso. Number 22, Gans Marie Antipuesto. Number 23, John Kirk Lewis. And number 24, Rusty Abellano. The substitutes of Manila Mountain FC are number three, Rafael Mamonong. Number seven, Ivers Yose. Number eight, Ken Francis Taala. Number 10, Henry Pinheiro II. Number 12, Raymark Celosa. Number 15, Mark John Beltran. Number 17, Reggie Sulit. Number 19, Marole Bungay. Number 25, John Leonard Nagia. Number 27, J. Mark Salazar. And number 28, Kyle Laxor. The head coach of Manila Mountain FC is Mr. Eliezer Obias Pabroana. Introducing the team lineup for Juan Taguig FC. Beginning with number one, Vinci Cameron. Number four, Jahan Baksh Zabihi Taher. Number six, team captain, Kevin Ingresso. Number eight, Nicolas Ferrell Jr. Number 11, Yannick Tuason. Number 17, Stefan Schrock. Number 19, Eric Galiantes. Number 22, Arnel Amita. Number 29, Nauko Hiraishi. Number 77, Chukasa Shimomura. And number 92, Mahmoud Ali. The substitutes of Wattagig FC are number 24, Lance Benshaw. Number 88, Edward Sacapano. Number 2, Jordan Jarvis. Number 5, Matthew Custodio. Number 7, Dennis Strong. Number 9, Misak Bahadoran. Number 10, Patrick Grog. Number 20, Ilemona Usman. Number 23, Joshua DeBosme. Number 72, George Baker. Number 89, Milad Begandong. And number 99, Isildin El Habib. The head coach of Wantali FC is Mr. Giovanni Villagracia. Presenting our match officials, the referee of this match is Christel Bayabiab. The assistant referees are Brian Flores and Michael Rojo. The fourth official of this match is Aldous Miracuertes the second. The referee assessor of this match is Ariel Montaña. And our match commissioner is Mr. Mark Abel de Castro.
opening weekend continues in the Philippines Football League. We're down to our final match of the uh, opening weekend of uh, PFL. And it's going to be an exciting matchup between two newcomers in the league. Manila Montet taking on one Tagig FC. It's one of the most intriguing matchups uh, that we have here on opening day. Uh, one of course, uh, in Taguig, a new club but with a lot of familiar faces. And meanwhile, for Manila Montet, a new outfit and new faces all together. So we're going to be in for quite a treat. Jing Hamlang, with the pleasure of calling this match with Glenn Casas. How are you, sir? Well, doing good. Looking forward to this one. It's going to be an exciting match for sure. Uh, we've had six matches already done and dusted on opening weekend. We've seen some incredible matches already. So many goals to speak of. And finally, we're down to our final one. And it is an introduction to some newcomers into the league. We've had six in total. Manila Digger, Army, Tuloy, Garelli, and Manila Montet and Tagig here rounding out the newcomers. Of course, we've got holdovers in the league in Davao, Loyola, United City and Philippine Air Force and, uh, and we've also got Kaya Cebu Stallion, Maharlika and Mendiola back in the mix. It's a, it's a vibrant league with 15 altogether and we've got a single round robin to decide the champions. It's a sprint. It's an exciting format. It's fantastic to have Philippine football back, Glenn. Oh, for sure. And we're expecting 15 teams. This is going to be a total of 105 games. So no shortage of football action for sure. And it's, it's great to see that the fans have come out here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium all throughout the day. Uh, it's a triple header today here on this Sunday. And what better way to spend uh, the weekend than with some football action. And, and look at this. Uh, some, some fan interaction before we even get started, Glenn. <laughs> well, looks like they are seeing some familiar faces there, so no doubt. And it's time for us to send things over to Sydney Crespo to start us off down on the sidelines. Sydney. Tonight, two teams are hoping to impress our PFL fans on their first match. Tagig FC is a good balanced team consisting of former national players and young guys from the ASCAL development team. According to their head coach, JV, who is also the program head of ADT. Most of these players came from other PFL teams and have great history in the league, which coach JV believes is a good influence for his younger players. He said they are more equipped now with talents talent and experience as Tagig FC. But experience and exposure are two things that Manila Montet still have to gain as a group. Head coach A emphasized that this is their disadvantage coming into this match. However, he is also proud that they are an all-Filipino squad in the PFL, giving more opportunities to the local players. Teamwork is what they've been working on the past few weeks as some of them just joined the group coming from Dumaguete, Palawan, and Manila. Back to our panel. Providing some lovely insight to the teams in action here in the Philippines Football League. And two teams, as we mentioned, that are new to the competition but have different ambitions. Manila Montet uh, looking to figure themselves into the competition. And Tagig looking to win right now. Trying to get silverware as a new outfit. It's a huge ambition for this team. Well, you can guarantee that because of that, difference in their outlook there should be some difference in their playing styles as well you would see aggression on one trying to be stable on the other and here come the two teams now Manila Montet in the game to kick off in just a few minutes So here we go. First look at one the Gig FC. They may be a new outfit, but they certainly have a lot of familiar faces. Stefan Schrock on the left side there. 
Kevin Ingresso wearing the captain's armband. For those who are familiar with the United Football League, in that time, you will notice Jahan Baksh, Zabihi Tahir back in the mix in Philippine football. Yanu Tuazon, Arnel Amita, Eric Galiantes. Uh, all of these players are, are, are no strangers to top flight football and even international football. So this is a wealth of talent at the disposal of coach Davina Gracia. Meanwhile, for Manila Montet, Glenn, a lot of new names, a lot of new faces. That's true. And one of the interesting things here is what they are one of the more active teams when it comes to the tryout system. So most of the talents that they have acquired actually came from them just looking for rough uh, gems in the rough. And as you mentioned to me uh, before we started the broadcast that perhaps this might be the way that they catch those that fall between the cracks and to, to spot the gems that nobody else were able to take advantage of. And today we're going to see how this approach plays out against this side of Tagig. Let's take a look at the substitutes. When you look at Tagig, uh, quite a few familiar names to draw from. Will we see the return of Misak Bahadoran? Is Patrick Grog going to get into the game? Joshua Dutosme, also somebody who is quite familiar, alongside Milad Begandom. And the substitutes for Manila Montet, we will get to know as we go along the way. What an opportunity here for this young side to take on so many quality players. And one thing that Manila Montet has done well has been bringing a crowd and Tagig similarly bringing a nice energy into the stadium on opening day. I would agree with that. And uh, Manila Montet has been one of those really active part, uh, in the social media scene, really trying to get people on board and hopefully they could live up to the hype. Underway here at the Result Memorial Stadium. So glad you could join us. Live on so many platforms, actually. And this match very easily accessible wherever you may be. And it's great to have top flight club football back underway. Trying to be a little bit clever with that pass, Stefan Schrock. But uh, the Montet player was able to get that one. Arante Bangi. That was the tough task of keeping Stefan Schrock quiet. A big, big ask, if you ask me. Uh, there was a moment in time that we felt Stefan Schrock's boots had been hung up. And that he would be more on the sideline coaching. But we're seeing him back in action. And that is certainly something to enjoy. You see a legend of his status and his ability to be back on the pitch and expressing himself out here on the Rizal Memorial Stadium field. He brings quite an energy to the game, that is for sure. So hopefully to see some more of his uh, being dynamic here. Kevin Ingresso. Fresh from international duty, back to back against uh, Iraq. We'll see an action here, and this first touch for Shimomura. Rock under pressure. There's a player down for Tegig, and it's not a good sign. Taher already. Looks like he might need to be substituted. Rather bizarre, really. We've barely even seen two minutes of the game. But there's been something. Well, this might not look real good, especially because I think it happened without too much action, really. No contact. The For ball had rolled back to him on a few occasions, Glenn. Nothing more. If I was the coach, I'd be really worried about it. I wonder if he was nursing something heading into this game. And if so, was it a good idea to risk him for this match? 
Or was it just a freak incident? And you see the disappointment on his face. And quite frankly, there's going to be a, quite a few in the stands that will be disappointed that Tahir is not going to be able to express himself here. He was a lively character in his time in Philippine football. And I, for one, was very much looking forward to seeing him back in action. And from a tactical standpoint as well, looks like the coach will have to restart and reset this early in the game. He has to play his cards this early in the game. One thing that Tagig do have is a wealth of talent at their disposal. And when you look at their bench, they've got Matthew Custodio, they've got Jordan Jarvis there. Two individuals who could slot in very easily into Tahir's position, and it looks like it is going to be Matthew Custodio who is preparing himself. Meanwhile, Tagig going to restart this match with 10 men. Trying to look for uh, Shimomura there, but uh, not successful. Galiantes pushing forward. Stefan Schrock. A little too close to the to the goalkeeper. I think this might be a strategy that they're going to be running in. If they give Stefan Schrock enough space right down the middle, he's going to be able to put one of those good passes into the box. Montet working their way down the flank. Galiantes putting a stop to that. Ali swinging it to the right side where Nicolas Ferrer is going to be his partner in defense. Plenty of ball passing here. It looks like they're not really that much of in a rush to get the ball forward here. I think they're still trying to test things out, see if they may be able to find an opening that way. Back to Quincy Camerad. One of two players joined from Kaya FC Luilo. The other being Ornella Mita. Ferrer, one of two to join from Davao Aguilas Humac. Another one being Yannick Tokson up front. And that one goes under the foot of Eric Gallantes. He's venturing forward from the left back position. And Matthew Custodio now can <laughs> enter the, the game. And Eric Gallantes was in a very wise position there, really open. Nobody was guarding him on that left flank. Too bad, though, he couldn't put the right touch in to get that one. Custodio. Not much of a downgrade, really, when you think about it quality player that is back playing in the top flight of the Philippines. It's good to see him on the pitch. A former member of uh, United City FC. Had his career halted a bit once they pulled out last season. Cleared out. Good, uh, good sense of awareness there from Montet to find that ball and keep it out. But Galiantes rifling it low. Anita with a snapshot from outside the box. Gonna be a big season for Arnella Mita. He's ventured away from Kaya FC Luilo, club he was with. Since 2018, it's a chance for him to spread his wings here and really make a statement with this uh, new and exciting outfit. 
Well, you know, a lot, a lot of things change when you move to clubs, the dynamic and sometimes your playing style, you could adapt and sometimes it would really make you even better than where you were. Certainly not in his comfort zone here. And he's playing alongside a real quality player in uh, Kevin Ingresso. Toisson. Just popping it around now, the gig. Not really uh, that as aggressive as we'd expect from a veteran team like, or uh, ex wealth of experienced players like the gig. Lifting that ball. Half cleared by Montet. Galiantes now. Cut back. Anita unable to control. Connection not there. Too many blue shirts in the area for uh, Amita to uh, get through, but that was a good, uh, good role, a uh, good build up play. Two early substitutions for one to gig. Stefan Schrock pulled out after nine minutes. You could see he wasn't running very well and has been replaced by Patrick Grog. So, two substitution windows utilized in the first nine minutes by one the gig. Highly unusual. Might be a tactical change, who knows? And now they only have one more uh, left in this game. Nevertheless, an opportunity to get plenty of minutes under their legs here for Custodio and Patrick Grog. Patrick Grog, a, a player who carries a lot of uh, excitement uh, around his reputation, known to be very good with the ball at his feet. We'll see if he is able to produce moments of magic in this game against Montet, who have held firm so far Glenn, not a bad first 10 minutes for this young side. For sure. And looks like the substitution that uh, Tagig has done, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, looks like uh, Eric Galliantes has actually moved a little bit back. And uh, Grog is the one who's taking his place now, spearheading the attack on that left flank. Bit of a loose pass. Montet swinging it out wide to the left side. Still figuring themselves out here going forward, Manila Montet, but they've done enough to stifle the gig in the opening moments. As long as they can keep the concentration up and concentrate on that defense, yet they may be able to weather the storm here. Trying to pick up the tempo now, the men in white. Ingresso gets it out to Eric Galliantes. That shot is well blocked. Another opportunity here. Ingresso, trying to find the seams. First touch for Grog, denied. Quite a hairstyle <laughs> from Patrick Grog. Look at it again. Galiantes was free. No one is trying to really get close to him that much and Pulling the trigger was really an easy decision if you give him enough space. A two-man game there between Amita and Hiraishi. The shot off target. Uh, this time from Shimomura. Looks like Wantagig is starting to pile up the number of shots. Haven't been any clear-cut opportunities just yet. And already two substitutions for Tagig. For those unfamiliar, there is a foreigner rule that has been placed in for this season. 
That is a five plus one rule. Chance here, and a great stop drawn from Mark James Jones. A low strike, Molakai Naoto Hiraishi. We were looking at that player a little earlier. Look at that shot there. That's what happens. Like I keep saying, if you give a striker enough space, even the slightest of it, they will take the opportunity to shoot. Headed out for a corner kick on the opposite side. Ishi amongst the foreigners for Tagig. They had three in the starting 11, one of them being withdrawn already, so just two on the pitch. And any team able to put five plus one at any given point in time. Five in the outfield, plus one being the goalkeeper. So a six total could be on the field. The rest have to be Filipinos. Header off the crossbar. The two Japanese players getting closer and closer. That attempt from Tsukasa Shimomura. Wow. He really had to make that run bend himself over. See if he could uh, squeeze that in. Difficult, difficult position to be in. Poked away. A high boot called on the men in blue. Well, actually, it would go the other way. A high boot from Arnella Mita, it seems. Well, the referee didn't like that. A little quick break for uh, Manila Montet here. Maybe they could uh, build the initiative from there. Chance to venture forward. They haven't spent a lot of time in the gig's half, that's for sure. They played short. They're looking to play through the gig, which is brave. Knocking that ball long on the left side. A little too much steam on that pass. But the idea, though, that was a really good one there. Had He had a little bit more of a half step ahead. Galeantes. Breezing past his man, Patrick Grog. Can he deliver a good ball? Galeantes leaves it. Tuason. Had a breakout season with Davao Aguilas. At the Copa Paulino Alcantara, Yannick Tuason. So going to bring his good form here to one Tagig. Into the box. So far, proven solid, Mark James Jones. That was a nicely weighted pass there. And that pass right down the middle, too close for the keeper. Another opportunity. Another Montet in a spot of bother there. Dangerous moment for the men in blue. They're getting closer and closer. Tsukasa Shimomura almost had a foot in there. When you look at the uh, lineups, Manila Montet, heavy underdogs in a game against so many stars of uh, one Tagig. Here comes Grog. And perhaps many would have expected that uh, one Tagig would have been able to open the scoring at this point in time. But Manila Montet holding firm. Proving resilient and stubborn to start off this game. Very, very persistent. Really putting a lot of heads or a lot of shirts in the middle just to make sure that it's no easy task for the gig to find a goal here. A lot of those more familiar faces. Dave Deloso. Amita finding room. Shot is blocked and out for a corner. Actually, it struck his teammate. It's going to be a goal kick. Let's have a look at it here. Takes it away. Finds the angle. Just hit Eric Galiantes. 
Really quick reaction from Amita there to convert. It was almost a counterattack from Manila Montet, though. Left side. Choice of attack here for Wantagig. Shimamura had gone down a little too easily for referee Chris Melkayabyab. Trying to ignite something really quickly on the other side, Malina Montet, but unfortunately too much power on that ball. Now you can see their intent. They're looking to break quickly once they do regain possession. Here comes Grog. Ingresso. Nice little combination. It's a crucial header away. Storio lets it bounce. Safely back to Mahmoud Ali. And poked away from Galiantes. No trouble for Custodio. It's going to be tough goings here up front for Rusty Abiliano. Trying to push a little bit higher for the forward here, but there's this big gap right down midfield whenever he does that. minute of the match. Manila Montet showing some uh, defensive solidity. Grog skipping past two, but running out of room. Again, Manila Montet trying to keep that formation there really solid, making it hard for them to find that, but they were almost outplayed by Grog. Got past the line, just his touch kind of failed him there, unable to control the ball right in front. Something we can expect from the left winger, Patrick Grog. Quick feet, bit of pace. In fact, a bit of a like for like change that he's taken off Stefan Schrock. Still a source of inspiration on the left side for them. It's good ball, or good intention rather, from Deloso. Easily read by Matthew Custodia, that one. Very good. Grog, opting to go to Ingresso. They're interested in exploring the right side this time. Overlapping run from Ferrer. Almost through that one. A really good cross in. They have been good at staying organized at the back. Montet closing the spaces where the danger is. They must be anticipating that uh, the gig players must uh, will be faster than them. So they really have to be at a better position than them to begin with. Awkward caught. Chance to breathe. Manila Montet. You see the signal mula kay Akwat. Hindi kailangan magmadali. Chance natin ngayon maka advance ng konte. They opted to go short. And this time, they're going to take the opportunity to apply a bit of pressure on this Tagig backline. Tawasun being shielded well. One thing you can say about this Manila Montet side, they haven't been overawed. They haven't looked. Well, they have been in. They have been defending really well, Manila Montet. And they haven't looked overwhelmed. Against the Tagig side filled with talent. It's a little over eager in the challenge. They'll also clipping Tuason. 
really, really late tackle there. And now they've given away a free kick in a very dangerous position. He could, uh, they could whip one in here. Two options. Gresso's left foot or Arnel Amita's right. Alamita, they're going to loft it. Goes beyond the far corner. Maybe about five inches down, could have been. Just trying to loop it. Well, probably expecting the dip right at the end, but not enough spin on the ball. It's so past the halfway point. Still scoreless between these two teams. By this standard, Manila Montet is really doing well oh, despite being under pressure intensely. Definitely coach Fabra, Fabro, Fabroada is going to be very, very pleased with what his side have shown. But looking at the stats, they really are getting themselves overwhelmed. Well, overwhelmed as far as the number of attempts on their goal. Dangerous cross. And Shimomura getting his head to it, but unable to direct it on target. The fans of Tagig enjoying that. Eric Allantes perhaps in a better position, but didn't get an opportunity. Yeah, that was a really good placement of the ball from uh, uh, the cross there. The gig has really now started to uh, really get the engines going. They're no longer as uh, calm as they were earlier. Aggression has started to build up for them. Finding room on the right side. Cross is well watched. And certainly picking up the tempo. Tagig. They're going to need to. Another Montet, despite being on the back foot, finding a bit of a comfort zone here, Glenn. Did you expect this coming in? Honestly, I, I was kind of expecting that there would have been at least one goal by now, but... Manila Montet has been hanging tough, and it's surpassing expectations for sure. That was a strong challenge from Eric Galiantes. Not sure if you'll see it here, but boom. He makes late contact on Alimar Ambong. I looked a painful one in real time. It looked worse on the replay. Yeah. But he really had to sacrifice his body there just to make sure that it doesn't get into an opposition player. <laughs> you gotta love that. He's knocking his chin from the bottom. Didn't they have something, uh, some kind of saying that uh, back then that if you hit your head, you have to do that? But I'm equalized. Be interesting to see the possession statistics at this point. Manila Montet, probably under 20% of the ball. Wouldn't be surprised because uh, they've really been camping on the other side. The gig, the gig has been uh, stay making their uh, stay felt. Definitely a handball. Nope, going to be a corner kick. Given I was missed by the referee. As Valencia had his arms up. You see here Dexter Valencia. His arm goes backwards. You gotta love the poker face though. <laughs> You'd never know anything happened. And Patrick Grog here going to take the corner kick. Not sure if that's even on the line from Patrick Grog. <laughs> Linesman couldn't see that far either. Mm.
Perhaps he's thinking, if you didn't see that handball, you're probably not going to see me if I place it five inches off <laughs> the corner circle. So far, 11 shots versus no shots from the other team. Two saves. Mula ata dito kay uh, Mark James Jones, but really they've been comfortable stops. Patrick Grog running out of room. There's been a lot of this for the gig, and the longer this goes, the frustration starts to build. And when that happens, a little bit of anxiety starts to creep in to these players, and that goes to the benefit of uh, Manila Montet. That's true. And you know, that's pretty much where the class of players really separates themselves. If you can keep your cool and composure, even though you've been doing this, because the longer that they take that, the longer that they start missing and they get frustrated, then the worse they play, you know? And again, you know, the, 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 the goal of the game is to put the ball in the back of the net. <laughs> and right now, Manila Montet are doing what's necessary to prevent the gig from doing so. Grog with his hands up. He was really asking for that while he had space, but... Amita. Unable to find a bit of room. Challenge from behind. Deemed clean. He's mixing it with Ferrer now, and it's just a little sloppy there on the far side. I've seen these kinds of situations before where the underdog has been taking quite a beating, but when the frustration creeps in for the stronger team, that's sometimes when they start opening themselves up for a counter. All right now, another Montet looking very composed. Game plan going exactly as they would like. Now one thing that will be a challenge for this approach is how they manage the amount of energy expenditure. Of course, he's going to be doing a lot of shuffling from left to right, and when you don't have the ball, it is rather tiring. But they've been able to keep this resistance going with very little effort, really. They haven't been working too hard. They haven't been made to work too hard by Tagig. Well, if there is one thing that you can bank on if you're still an inexperienced in the league, it's your fitness. And so far, it's looking good. Glenn Bangi there with a nice challenge. It's going to be another corner kick to defend. But the gig haven't come close yet. At least not from the set piece. It's a deep delivery from Grog. And it's going to go over the intended target of Matthew Custodio. There were two players guarding Matthew Custodio there, so it's going to be hard to pull anything off in that kind of position. Got up high to win that one. <laughs> Arnel Amita could be the smallest man on the pitch. You never know it. That jump height though, right? <laughs> uh, Grog hasn't quite been able to find the finished product on the left side. But he has been a threat, no doubt about it. He ha whenever he does have the ball, you do expect that it is going to go into the box. It's just that the end product isn't there yet. Custodio. Playing with a bit of urgency here. Amita has his pass cut out. Ingresso. A chance here for Tegig. Shot is blocked. Ingresso taking charge. Got two around him, make it three. He still manages to get a delivery in, and it could be a chance there for 
Went the gig. Lovely work from Kevin Ingresso. And finding Hiraishi. Look at this. Wow, that was quite a fantastic save there. Look at that. <laughs> Mark James Jones being a brick wall right now. And a standout performer so far here for Montet, keeping it solid in between the sticks. Well, he's got to be with, he, uh, with the amount of talent that Tagig FC carries. He should be. Grog getting it out wide, looping cross. Veloso finding distance. Tagig now piling on the pressure. They're getting closer. They're piling numbers into the box. Really relying on uh, that back line there, Manila Montet. Just got a bit too tight. As Amita and Shimomura look to exchange passes. Another corner kick on the way. Tagig had plenty of opportunities there. And look at this, how they played it in. They were able to try and get it into the box. But there was just too many defenders. They're not going to use the short option. Ingresso's delivery. Jones comes out to collect. Is it no man's land? the keeper and he's saved by his defense that's what you have to expect if you are really gelling well with your defenders yeah so like i was saying you, you really whenever you know that you have to take charge and put yourselves out uh, put yourself a little bit farther away from your own goal the defenders really have to do even better to make sure that it doesn't get through and jones been a busy man in goal here for Montet. Lovely switch of play. Grog, one on one. Amita in support. Custodio getting it wide. Ferrer. Will deliver the cross himself. Montet. Stubborn as ever. Vincent Gavinho being a rock in defense here for uh, Manila Montet. Two players getting in the way of one another though. Ingresso spreading it. Ferrer involved once more. Loops it in and what a save! I cannot believe that. He had to pull a save out of that and it was out of nowhere too. He can't believe it. Tsukasa Shimomura thought he had opened his account. But it's not over yet, though. Another great corner. Right into that six-yard box. Pressure is on for Manila Montet. But, you know, with a keeper like Mark, ja uh, Mark James Jones, I think I'd be a little bit more confident as a defender. Certainly announced himself into the top flight of football here. Mark James Jones. It's good reactions to keep this scoreless. Tuason.
あ見たスタップスのブレークスファインスフェレルディープクロスシモムーラアンエイブルディアウェイシモムーラはエイブルディアウェイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォーメイフォー
Nice bit of control here from Manila Montet. One of the rare instances where they're starting to build a momentum, but that pass though. Anita, skipping free, finding room. Plays in! What well, looked like the perfect opportunity to open the scoring, but Hiraishi could not find a teammate. That was a beautiful pass. You're right. All he had to do was put a decent foot into that ball. Nobody was there. Wasted the opportunity. Shimomura lurking right in front of goal. Again, the defense remaining stubborn for Montet. Abeliano pushing forward. What a tackle. They take it away, Ferrer. Amita. Ingreso. Ferrer in support. He's going to deliver the ball. Del also gets his head to it, and it's into the hands of Mark James Jones. Just a bit rushed from another month that they do have the opportunity to go forward. That's a strong challenge that draws the cheer from a crowd. Very rare opportunity for Manila Montet to really be pushing forward, but we're, we're, uh, we're really looking at something here. Certainly a lot of raised eyebrows at the moment. Those just checking in and looking at the score. Nil, nil with only a minute remaining of added time in this opening half. Nil, nil, but no shortage of action for sure. And a chance to get in behind. Antipuesto. Cross blocked. So they get a second chance. I'm going to be able to take advantage. Amita. Bit of skill. Ingresso. Denied. Strong challenge. Manila Montet. Trying to get through. It's a strong challenge from Mahmoud Ali. And Kevin Ingresso has stayed down. Manila Montet just having that short taste of having an attack. And now you could just see they were a little bit more determined to really mount a counterattack there. Look at that high press. That was the challenge that brought down Kevin Ingresso. It looked like the ball was missed. But Chris Milkayab Yab felt contact wasn't enough to call for a foul. Kevin Ingresso. I'm perhaps a little bit confused. But it looks like job done here, Glenn. <laughs> At least for the opening 45, Manila Montet achieving the unthinkable. Keeping out a star studded one to gig side quiet for one half. After being under relentless pressure, wow. And we have actually seen heroics from Mark James Jones several times introducing himself as a big, big top keeper here. I think he's got the most saves so far, at least for the matches I've seen. He's certainly been busy in between the sticks. The match will restart now. You'd imagine that the halftime whistle won't be far behind it. Final sequence, perhaps. Grog cutting inside. Gets past two. Passes it to an opponent. Looking for the whistle there. Nothing given. Referee still letting this go. 
We're in the third minute now. Make that the fourth minute. We're in the fourth minute. Of, uh, a half that was it supposed to have just one. Amita. Shimomura getting the shot away. And Gresso has a shot blocked. And half time whistle called. The gig looking for a handball inside the box. Kenneth Kayabiab uninterested. And there you have it. 45 minutes in the books. And the first 45 for these new teams in the Philippines Football League. And so far, there has been no difference between the two sides. Despite at the very start that we were already looking at a bunch of people that we've never seen before and just got from, uh, they just got from Trouts versus tried and tested names, we would never have expected it to be this level at this stage of the game. Manila Montet will be pleased. They have kept things scoreless at the break. We enter halftime. Manila Montet nil. One to gig FC nil.
Welcome back. It's halftime at the Rizal Memorial Football Stadium between Manila Montet FC and Wantagig FC, both newcomers to the world of top-flight Philippine football. We were expecting a completely different scoreline, Glenn. What a surprise we've had here so far. Well, I would agree. I mean, we were looking at two very different kinds of lineups here. One is star-studded, a lot of experienced players, a lot of players who've actually plied their trade here and overseas. And on the other, a bunch of people who we've never uh, never seen before in a professional league. And they are playing like professionals right now as far as defense is concerned. And that man in the middle of the goal, Mark James Jones, amongst the standouts, He's been impenetrable so far here after 45 minutes. Yeah, I'd agree. And you'd think that his reaction times were really good, but you could really see how his command of his box has really helped him make sure that he's in the best position to make those saves. And whenever he has to go out of position, you know that somebody's going to step up right for him. It's been a resilient display so far for Manila Montet. And the numbers show that one side has been doing most of the attacking, 85% possession, 21 shots, but only two of them on target, Glenn. And that's going to be a glaring number, really. They've had eight corners, but the most important statistic of all is that it is nil-nil as of the moment. Manila Montet not really providing much going forward, but in terms of their defense, goodness me, Glenn, it's been impressive, this resilient display that they've put on. Yes, they have really been consistent in maintaining their defensive shape. The discipline that you could see from how they maintain themselves in a good, neat way. And despite the fact that, well, if I was, uh, if I, I, memory serves me right, I've only seen uh, Tagig really break apart their formation once or twice. And they've not even taken advantage of those two opportunities. And Tagig already out onto the pitch. Manila Montet still taking the opportunity to discuss a few more things inside the dugout. Uh, one thing that was a bit bizarre in this opening half was the fact that uh, Tagig were forced into two early substitutions. Tahir uh, initially was taken off maybe two minutes into the game um, with uh, an injury that was rather strange. No contact, no nothing. Uh, you wonder if he was nursing something heading into the match, but he was needed to be yanked out just two minutes into the game. And a few minutes after that, Stefan Schrock was removed shortly after as well. So that was two substitution windows utilized in the first 10 minutes of the game for the gig. And, you know, I was kind of thinking about it too. I mean, at the very start, yeah, when uh, Tahir was uh, kind of nursing something there, it really was a concerning thing to see. So I think the coach really had no choice. But when he had to sub out Stefan Schrock, who wasn't really doing that bad at the, uh, at the time that he was playing. He was making good passes. He was able to run with the opposition. It's quite bizarre, yeah, just like what you said. Quite bizarre that this substitution even happened. This now depletes the number of substitutions that uh, Coach Giovanni Villagracia would be able to do. So if he doesn't change things up here at halftime, that means he's only got one window to use and it doesn't seem like there's any substitutions for one Tagig. So uh, they will have one window to switch things up in the second half. And uh, it depends on coach Giovanni De Vinagracia if he's going to be utilizing, or Villagracia rather, if he's going to be utilizing five of his options or the, the, the remaining three rather that he has at his di disposal. Meanwhile, Manila Montet making some substitutions, bringing on fresh legs. Uh, and coach... Of course, uh, Fabra, Fabro Ada, fully knowledgeable that it, uh, the approach of remaining disciplined at the back requires quite a lot of energy. And he's brought on some fresh legs to ensure they stay sharp here in yes. the second. We are underway, Glenn. Yes, we are. And, you know, one of the things that you could really put at risk when you do substitutions is that you could be changing the balance of something that's really doing well. So let's just hope that this is a good kind of substitution. So Ira John Siose entering the game alongside Henry Pinero II. Both individuals who've been brought in are actually forwards. Mm, a little change of mindset because uh, they did have some... Oh, let's look at this one first. Looking to spring a surprise here. Manila Montet 
looking positive early on. Pinheiro perhaps unaware that he had an option to his left. Yeah, it looks like the mindset may have changed from a, a more defensive mindset to something that's a little bit more forward going, you know. But the earlier problem that uh, Manila Montet has was their transition from defense to attack. They're really good at defending. They were rock solid in defense, but moving the ball forward through the midfield, that's posed quite a challenge for them. Well, certainly the confidence will have grown uh, quite a bit. Well, that was definitely a, a too strong of a pass. We'll see what new ideas the gig have been able to create from the 15 minute break. I wonder if they've got any new approaches in breaking down this very disciplined performance so far from the gig. Well, you'd expect that from the level of talent that they have at their roster and the experience that they carry behind it, they should be able to make adjustments on the fly. But yeah, it may really have to be down to the coach to make something happen for them. Just what an experience for this Manila Montet side. You know, a lot of folks would have you know, written them off early, especially against the quality of this opposition. Well, we may have actually talked about it a little bit as well that we are still unsure of, but right now we're really looking at something of a surprise. And when you've been able to survive 45 minutes in such an impressive fashion, I imagine you would expect yourself now to be able to keep out the gig for another 45 as Amita is probing. Gets it out to Patrick Grog. Ingresso has a look over his shoulder and sees Ferrer in space. Linking up with Hiraishi. Trying to move the ball along from left to right here. I think they really are trying to see if they can stretch this very disciplined Manila Montet defense. Amita! Brought down inside the box, and it's a penalty. Heartbreak for Manila Montet. The resilience, or the resistance rather, in real danger of being broken here. The referee had no choice but to give that penalty. A little bit too rough. Conversation being had here. Tsukasa taking charge. He wants the responsibility. There was a bit of a discussion with Arnel Amita. But Tsukasa Shimomura looking to open his account here. On his debut for one to gig. Up against Mark James Jones, who's been a giant in between the sticks in this match. Will he finally be breached here? Opening goal, Sukasha, Shimomura, bottom left corner. Well, you can really see what this goal means to want the gig. They have been knocking and knocking and knocking. This goal could really be the one that opens the floodgates for them, but that all depends on how Manila Montet would respond. What a heartbreaker here for the stubborn defense of Manila Montet. They've done so well to keep out the opposition in the end. It was a spot kick. Mark James Jones guessing the ball right, but 
it just went right through him. And now one to gig with their tails up here. Two options at the far post. Patrick Grog going for goal. Well, that penalty is definitely inspired and given them a little bit more confidence to play the ball freely now. Pressure is now off and the pressure for Manila Montet is on. It's going to be interesting how they change their approach in the match. Deloso looking for the whistle and he did get it. Um, they've set up shop to really prevent the gig from finding the back of the net. And now that they have been breached, how do they change things? As they do need to find the back of the net now, they are forced if they want to get anything out of this game. That's right. Looks like at this point, if they really want to get something out of this game or really introduce themselves to this league as the newcomers, then how they respond to this would really rely on it. And we're checking now with Sidney Crespo on the sideline. I mentioned earlier how Manila Montet is aware of their disadvantage coming into this league and that's their lack of experience. You know, only three players in their roster have PFL exposure in the past. Despite that, nakikita raw ni Coach A yung puso and he appreciates the help in defending, especially against veterans, but that's not enough. For Taguig, the players were told to communicate more, move the ball faster and stay patient as they open the second half. Coach Jamie wasn't happy with all the missed opportunities earlier, pero in-expect niya na mas madali sila maka-adjust at it looks like it's happening now. Back to you guys. Again, and certainly in terms of heart, hindi na kukulang dito ang Manila Montet. And I'm sure Giovanni Villagrasio will be quite pleased uh, that his side is moving the ball faster. That they are with a little bit more urgency uh, in trying to open up this. Uh, a stubborn defense of Manila Montet. But Manila Montet has finally given them a little bit of an offensive there. So uh, bef right before that last go uh, shot on goal, they were finally able to get that good cross in, and that was a little bit too tough for them. Aggression is now building up. Mindset might still be there. And certainly Pinheiro and Ira John Siose bringing a little bit of flavor from the bench. Looks like uh, Coach Villagrasha really had to bank on a, a tactical change rather than just changing the, uh, the personnel. Grog with a nice cut back. Chance here. And it's a second for one Taguig FC, Arnella Mita. Checking his pulse. Cool, calm, composed. They double their lead. One Taguig FC, two goals to the good. Like what we said, now that the first goal has actually come, the pressure has gone off from them, and now they might actually start playing for fun. Debut for his new club. Debut goal for Arnel Amita. Tuason lifting it into the path of Arnel Amita, and he's done it in cool fashion, side-footing it into the back of the net. Tuason there making sure that his touch is really on point. He was already being guarded really well back there, but he really had to make that pass, and that pass made it to its recipient. And this was the worry. Once Manila Montet was opened up, will the floodgates open? It's certainly a bit of a danger of happening now. But that's the thing, though. Manila Montet cannot afford to just simply harden up and forgo of offense here, but... That's the, also the other bad part of it. When you go for attack, you open yourself up for counterattacks too. So that is the conundrum for Coach Fabroada. We're getting an update here that Tahir has come off with a calf tear. And that happened just two minutes into the game under very little pressure. It's one of those freak incidents. I really feel 
uh, for the center back, Jahan Baksh, Zabihi Taher, once one of those players that we were really looking forward to getting back to playing in the Philippines. He could be out for a lengthy period with a calf tear. Yeah, and that could also put a damper as to the aspirations of Wanta Gig, as being that he is a starting player. We can say they are quite fortunate that they have the likes of Matthew Costodio there at the back, and he's cleaned up here. They still have Jordan Jarvis on the bench. Another player who has seen a lot of action at this level. Well, so far, the Tagig defense hasn't really been tested all that well. So we're not really sure uh, how they would react when it comes to a really quicker attack. But right now, Manila Montet is not able to supply that kind of attack to test them yet. Asking a lot out of Yannick Tuason, who shielded out of play. Antipuesto with some good defending there. They could have easily just touched that ball out. He's taken the approach of shielding. It's a brave approach, and he's done it well. Effectively making sure that it doesn't end up as a corner. We talked about the conundrum that uh, coach Fabroada faces here. He could open up and try to chase this game, which would open him up to more attacks from one to gig, or he could close things down and perhaps do a, a bit of damage limitation. This early in the game, damage limitation might actually lead, sometimes it actually counter, uh, counteracts what you're really aiming for. The more that you harden up, there are times that it emboldens the opposing team. And these are the decisions you have to make as the man on the sideline. But meanwhile, Tagig finding a bit of confidence, finding a bit more fluidity in their attack. And it's fallen kindly here for Kevin Ingresso. That's off the upright. Well, aside from that missed opportunity there, you could really see that this time around, unlike earlier from the first half, the defense and the positioning of the defenders, they're a little bit more stretched now than they were earlier. Now you wonder if it's tired legs that are starting to creep in. Difficult to stay compact when you can't make the ground. Well, one of the things that contributes to fitness is a lot of competitive matches, and Manila Montet has been looking for some. Quincy Kamerad under pressure there. Just clearing it out of danger. He hasn't been involved in this game at all. Perhaps that one came a bit too quickly at him. One mistake, and he could have been involved in a different kind of goal. Grog. Amita. Went for goal there. Took a touch from Jones. Hiraishi carving out a few meters of space. A half a meter, in fact, was enough for him to pull the trigger there. Yeah, Hiraishi was given plenty of space to move after that pass. He was really making himself open in that far right position. Still 30 minutes to go in this game. They play it short. Ingresso over the target. Want the gig still piling on the number of uh, shots here. That's got to be easily the most we've seen in opening weekend of the PFL. As far as the number of shots are concerned, that, that is true. And if they converted at least half of these chances, this would have been the highest scoring game. But that's the thing, the conversion rate perhaps, or even the tar on target uh, ratio has been uh, not that impressive or something that they would like to improve on for Wanta Gig. There have been a lot of opportunities where uh, Wanta Gig had been wasteful. And it's been an improvement here in the second half. Grog. 
dispossessed. Montet finding the first pass. And Veloso clipped. Dave Veloso always looks like he's on the verge of an outburst. And he calms himself at the final moment. <laughs> Sikasa Shimomura with the foul, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit too aggressive coming from behind. And swinging it into the path of the right winger. Hiraishi gets Ferrer involved. A looping cross. Grog heads it down. Tuasson! Or rather, that's Shimomura with a left footed snapshot after using his body well. Pinapainit na naman nila ang kamay ni Mark James Jones here. This touch from Ferrer, but he makes up for it. Ali under pressure. Nice little exchange. Amita. Perhaps a little too quickly into Grog. Lovely ball from Ingresso. Can Galiantes get there? Jones anticipating where the danger would be and there's been a clash here between players. Let's take a look at the extracurriculars. Been a touch Ooh. to the face there actually of Alimar Ambong. I think the referee didn't quite see the extra action there that happened, but uh, a card is in it, his hand. It looks like there's been a, a card brandished. We'll get confirmation momentarily, but... Certainly a bit of a slap there from Shimomura. He'd be lucky. Raising your hands, always very, very dangerous. And now a couple more substitutions about to take place. So. Flores. Coming off, Reggie Sulit coming on. We got Raymond. Uh, Celosa coming on as well. And I believe it was Antipuesto who had given way. Uh, that would be uh, Renate and Flores, I think. So there we have it. Flores and Renate Bangi who had given way. Strong clash here. In the middle. Let's have a look at it. Ooh. Abad immediately up to apologize. He had eyes for the ball. He's cleaned out Arnella Mita. That's going to be a painful one. Well, his momentum has already taken him full strength there. So anything in the way would definitely get hit. Alan Paul Abad. If you, ha if you only have eyes for the ball, especially in 50-50 situations where you know or you think you know that you're going to get to the ball first. That one. Terrible for Arnella Mita. He was a stationary target there with a player coming at him at full speed. He's taking the brunt of that for sure. Uh, 
Well, talagang unintentional naman. You can see how uh, Abad has been apologizing and apologizing for that. His initial reaction as well was quick. So there's the uh, confirmation of the substitutions. Actually, it was Reggie Sulit, that's right, who's come on. And Alamita. Looks like he's going to be okay to continue. A little bit shaken, but definitely not out. He's actually needing to be removed off the pitch here. Should be anyway. He did receive a bit of treatment. He should come off, at least for a moment. Yeah, clutch, uh, clutching right there, right down below his chest. I think he's really still feeling something. Well, he's been allowed to stay on the pitch here by, Kenneth, by Chris Mel Kayabiab. He's looking to get involved right away. Mahmoud Ali. Showing a bit of pressure up front. Pressing a little bit higher than normal, Manila Montet. And the question we had was, would the floodgates open? And they haven't yet, Glenn. Still remains 2-0. Goal from the penalty spot and Arnel Amita's first for one to gig. It's definitely still within reach, that's for sure. But it all depends on the willpower of Manila Montet if they want to pull something out of this one. Ingreso headed away by Gavino. Decent first touch to bring it down from Siose. He's got support on the left side. Uh, didn't get the bend on it. You could already see that there was a good run down the left flank. That was uh, Ray Marcelosa trying to make that run. Too bad, though, the ball was, uh, was given a little bit too much juice behind it. Swasson dropping in to collect. Amita. Grog now cutting it back. What a stop. Mark James Jones anticipating where the strike would be heading. Despite conceding two goals, you could see that his reflexes is still top notch right there. Naoto Hiraishi from close range. And there was some power behind it. Accuracy was there too. Arnella Mita has been central to all good things for one to gig in this match. Shimomura denied. A chance to counter here. Although that touch is taking it away. Under pressure. Hello. He's done well. It's a pass through. Mahmoud Ali on the stretch. A beautiful tackle. And just like that, it was off to the races. <laughs> Take a bow, Ivor John Siose. Taking on two defenders to break free. Mahmoud Ali with a last ditch tackle to deny Pinheiro. Henry Pinheiro almost getting ahead of that ball, but the defender was uh, the favorite for that one. Here we go. Corner kick. A rare one for Manila Montet. The loss was delivery. Arnella Mita now. Pinheiro. Studio stopped him in his tracks. 
that should build some confidence for the Manila Mont that side, knowing that they have the ability to run back. Because this is something that we've never seen them do throughout the game. Run back. Manila Montet showing signs of life. If they can get a goal here, you never know what will happen. Well, I think that the next goal would be really crucial here because if it would come from Tagig, it could be done and dusted, game over. That's right, but if Montet gets that one, then it's game on. Not this time from Siosip. It's getting more open now. And Montet getting a, a bit of the ball. Deloso. Tuason or Shimamura actually nicking in. It is opening up for both teams. Manila Montet was really just comfortable trying to be as steady as a rock in defense earlier but right now it's uh, quite a it's quite pleasant to see them moving up a little bit more now grog takes a deflection and it's out for a corner gavino getting in the way he's desperate to get on the score sheet patrick grog he has been a dynamite on his side he has been trying to make those beautiful runs but so far it hasn't gifted him a goal but he might be just knocking on the door Grog, not interested in the short corner. Wants to send this one into the box. Whistle blown. Referee Kayab Yab going to have a word. Looks like it's going to be a retake, actually. Not sure what's going on. Maybe this time he saw that it wasn't on the line? Yeah. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> This time they played out to Arnella Mita, whose first touch was a bit loose. Second touch was better. He's trying to play in Yannick Tuason. See you all Can Manila Montet find their way forward here? Very determined to keep that ball, Manila Montet. See so on the turn. There's room on the left side. It's been overhit a bit. Ah. But that's a little bit better from Manila Montet there. Yeah, that was a little bit too powerful, but you can see that they're finally starting to utilize their flanks, see if they could find an attack from that angle. The painful thing about it, that run for Antipuesto is that he was actually flagged offside, Glenn, so it wouldn't have mattered if he had gotten there. Certainly made the effort anyway. Well, this should be uh, this should wake one to gig up. Galiantes. Been good at cutting those out. Manila. Grog rides the challenge well. Gets the ball back. Ambong winning his duel. Siose. They have the numerical advantage here. Cutting inside, Antipuesto! That's their first shot. That would be their first shot on target, second shot of the game. Quincy Camerad called into action for the first time. Toisson. Went the gig in danger of missing out on a clean sheet here. They've been opened up on the counter. And it's a fantastic third from Patrick Grog. Yeah, bounced nicely for him. And he was able to get a lot of power to hit that one into the bottom right corner. And that could be the cushion they needed. 
Well, he has been knocking there. He has been giving a lot of effort to get himself in good positions. And now the ball just fell kindly for him. All he had to do was put it in. Let's take a look at it here. Cross from the right side. That's a lovely piece of skill from Patrick Grog. Poke, poked it up into the air. And smashed it in. In some style, Patrick Grog. Up and running. Raymart Salosa there trying his best to get a foot in, but yeah, Grog was a little bit too tricky for him that time. Arnel Amita has been withdrawn. We're going to see the inclusion now of Dennis Chung, Joshua Dutosme, and Ilemona Usman. Substitutions for Ron Tagig. Player number 11, Yannick Tuasson, replaced by player number 7, Dennis Chung. Tuasson has given way. Nicholas Ferrer and Arnel Amita are the players to have given way. Well, with a three-goal cushion, yes. Looks like uh, the coach can now start playing his cards along. There's a little bit of insurance between him so he could start shuffling things around here. Finally utilizing more of the foreigners as well as Usman is getting some minutes. Dennis Chung, of course, former under-23 player. Not sure if he's been capped at senior level, Dennis Chung. He's certainly part of the SEA Games sides and uh, part of the former ADT. He has been one of those names that we've uh, been watching with ADT. He was catching attention back then, but of course, ADT was a relatively young side then. Chance here! Denied by Mark James Jones. And that's Dennis Chung with the opportunity. Another player who's been introduced is Dutosme. The man with title credentials for Ceres in the past, as well as United City. So no Misa Bahadoran sighting today. People were waiting for that, I think. <laughs> it's been a lot of Lord Misak up in social media these days, and he's gotten behind here, Siose. He's been very lively since coming on. Nice piece of skill to retain that ball. Ivor John Siose. Ingreso. Dutosme swings it. We're in a midfield role now, Joshua Dutosme. Dutosme used to be in a fullback role in his previous incarnation. He is registered as a defender here. Final 10 minutes and change to go. Three goals in the second half for Tagig after a valiant nil-nil effort from Manila Montet. The resistance broken via a penalty. Then Arnel Amita joined in on the scoring after winning the initial penalty. And Patrick Grog's stylish finish making it three. Ingresso being set up here. Shot blocked. That's a strong challenge. But a very good one. Siose is away. Not much support from Manila Montet. He's going to have to go alone. A 
Not an easy task. Trying to get past Custodio and Dutosme. Two against six is definitely not a good number. You can see the, the problem of Manila Montet. They put in so much effort trying to keep the gig out. They don't have the legs to go forward when they do have possession. I think uh, most of the confidence would have come if they were, were confident enough that they know they could run back and forth without uh, so much trouble. But I think that's where fitness really comes in. If you know that you have the lungs to run end to end. You did mention earlier, Glenn, fitness comes with matches and this is their first one at this level. I'm sure they've had plenty of friendlies leading up to this, but nothing quite like the intensity of top flight football, at least in a competitive match. That we'd have to agree. A looper on the roof of the net. I am running out of space in writing the number of shots being taken here. There's been a lot of speculation leading into this match. And people wondering if it was going to be a scoreline that would be extremely one-sided, but 3-0 despite you know, it not looking pretty for Manila Montet. It's certainly a respectable number, especially with them talking about you know, finishing eighth, maybe something that they would be okay with. Uh, you know, they wanted to give exposure to an all Filipino side. Their, their goals were humble. And they were up against a side here in, in Taguig who, you know, I've been very open about wanting to challenge for silverware. Yeah, and if you are a team who is challenging for silverware, it should really be that you have to make a statement. And right now they are doing just that, but in the first half, though, you were kind of thinking... Play on! Chance here! Manila Montez! Oh! They found the back of the net! Incredible! You did not have to expect that one, but wow! Look at how that went. Henry Pinheiro, the second. Has put Manila Montet on the board. Look at this one. A little bit determined there to keep the ball in play. Hands up from the uh, Manila Tagig player. But no, you have to play to the whistle. And Pinheiro took full advantage of the one-on-one. -on -one. Look at that run. It was a difficult angle. What a finish. Top right corner. Fantastic. What character from Manila Montet. Three goals behind, no quit in them whatsoever. No, you just can't put them down. Manila Montet is making a statement here. There's always the worry, you're gonna get overconfident once you have the lead against Manila Montet. And one the gig certainly guilty of that. Not reacting right away when Mahmoud Ali was robbed. They're expecting the whistle to go, and then kind of half-heartedly tried to close him down. Not expecting that Peñero had that in his locker. And what a finish. Goodness me. Beautifully slotted in that finish. Oh, yeah. Had to be called by the referee. Antipuesto not happy, though. A substitution about to be made here. It looks like we're going to see the inclusion of Mark John Beltran with Alan Paul Abad about to give way. Substitution for Manila Monte FC. Maybe something to control the midfield a little bit better, or could be just some fresh legs. Player number 15. 
I mean, now that we've actually trimmed it down by uh, from three goals to just two, it could really push you to do a little bit more better, especially with just five minutes remaining. No, six or four, sorry, four minutes remaining. You wondered with their approach when Manila Montet would be able to find the back of the net. Close to conceding there, but it was well spotted. The danger by Gavino. Tricky set piece. Gavino quick to close things down. And Antipuesto was quick to react there. Ingreso. Gavino again. A chance for another counter attack here from Manila Montet. That's a confident touch by like Eric Galiantes. Room to turn. Grog denied. Manila Montet happy with that just to get the possession back. So, so difficult to wrap our heads around. Chance here! And there it is. A beautiful finish. A better quality showcase there by Naoto Hiraishi. I've been wondering when the golf in talent was going to show, and there was certainly a moment there. Cutting inside and just passing it into the far corner. Lovely stuff. That was the one, uh, one thing that they've been looking for ever since the first half, especially. Naoto Hiraishi, who has tried and tried again to pull the trigger from different areas, including a few that close as well. But looks like this time around, Manila Montet's defense was stretched too thin. When uh, you put people a little bit a bit a little bit forward than normal, you lose your defensive shape and. You really have to rely on your fitness to be able to get back onto your defensive shape in time. Pero yun nga, without that, goals can be conceded. Pinheiro, a little too forceful. Trying to get to that ball. It's still his goal. A historic one. Para sa kupuna ng Manila Montet. With their approach earlier, you wondered if it would be some time before they'd find the back of the net, but they've gotten it in their first match in the PFL. Granted that three points, or any points for that matter, will be elusive in this contest against Wantagig. But then again, that gave them something to cheer for, a consolation goal, as you can call it. And certainly a lot, a big confidence boost. And we have to remind everybody as well the crazy story of how this team was put together. You talked about just tryouts and creating a collective here from scratch. And, you know, there was a big worry whether or not they'd be able to compete against a side like One Tegig with so many famous names in their lineup, so many experienced players as well that they might be run off the pitch and not be able to compete, but they've uh, showed that they can be stubborn. They can be difficult to break down. And if you take them lightly, they could break and, and score on you. That's true. And uh, this is definitely a message to all of the other PFL teams out there that, yeah, they are still trying to find their way, but they can, uh, they can strike back if you let them. Player down is Drexler Valencia. Natamaan siya sa mukha ni Tsukasa. Right there. Wow. It was a strong forearm actually from Tsukasa as he was trying to shield the ball. Yeah, in fact, uh, of one angle earlier from uh, the reaper from the camera was uh, that there was a little bit of bleeding. Not the first time that Tsukasa uh, has made contact with uh, a face. 
<laughs> of uh, a middle mounted player. Kanina, medyo naka, uh, nakawala siya with a, a cheeky slap of the face of uh, it was Alimar Ambong. Kanina yung uh, nabigyan niya. Well, this time around, it still looks like it's just going to end up as a foul and nothing more. So, a little bit too physical for our uh, for one of our new visitors. Tatlong minuto ang idadagdag, and you expect maybe a minute more because of this stoppage right here. Certainly nothing to be ashamed of here for Manila Montet. I think it take a lot of confidence and a lot of heart from the fact that they were able to compete. And that the fact that this is a very long PFL season. So plenty of opportunity to grow. Uh, 13 more games for them. Chong. Lovely stuff. Trying to thread the needle. He's able to do so. Mm, what a challenge from Dave Deloso. It's a yellow card. A little bit too heavy on that tackle. It's coming hard. Dave Deloso. He's outside the box, that's for sure. No complaints from him, actually. Showing a little bit of heat in the dying embers of this game. Certainly feeling the effects of that is Hiraishi. Kevin Ingresso. Still desperate to get involved in the scoring. Doesn't really favor his left foot, this angle. And Patrick Grog has included himself in the conversation. Three minutes have elapsed. Final moments here, perhaps even just this final sequence for the gig. Ingresso straight into the wall. Del also clears off the back of his teammate. Shaky moment by the defense there, bouncing off that wall, but it almost just bounced un uh, unfortunate for them. I expect. At least a minute. We've gone in it here. Ingresso. Chong. Play on, says the referee. Lamontet has the knock on from Siose. Galiantes doing about enough. That play still alive here for Manila Montet. They're looking to switch the play. Usman on the stretch. Antepuesto keeps it in play. Committed from Siose. But Tosme doing enough. Custodio. <laughs> still trying to win the ball up high as if there's still a lot of time here. The skill there from the center back to ease the pressure. And it's got to be the final moment now. Well, looks like. Uh, they want to prove you wrong for some reason. <laughs> Foul called. Hiraishi brought down. Extending this game just a little bit further. And in a dangerous spot too, you know. This has been a very good, uh, that kind of free kick from that range. Very good opportunity to put the ball in. Could be a fifth for one the gig. They'd love to extend the scoreline a little bit more. And perhaps to reflect the dominance they've had in terms of shots. And 
Delivery into the box, headed away. And there is the final whistle. The two debuting clubs, Manila Montet and one to gig finish with a scoreline of four to one. All goals coming in the second half. One to gig have their clean sheet spoiled with Henry Pinheiro scoring a historic first for Manila Montet, who were on the back foot for 90 minutes. And one to gig off the mark in their hunt for silverware in their debut season. And they came up against a brave Manila Montet. Wow. And it was quite surprising that we were looking at a nil-nil scoreline by the half and we're surprised by the kind of scoreline shown by that uh, at that point in time. But right now, this is looking to be more of what we were kind of expecting from the start. It, but the one thing that we did not expect was the amount of heart and passion that Manila Montet has shown on the pitch. Look at that, their fans clapping off their players, enjoying themselves here, appreciating the commitment and the effort that their players have displayed here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. And meanwhile, it was a slow start for one the gig not helped by two early substitutions to Tahir and Schrock. It took them a moment to find their fluidity. And of course, Mark James Jones put in a heroic effort early in the first half. And not just in the first half, in the second half, while he did concede four goals, one of them to a penalty, this particular penalty, it, he did show a lot of heroics, including, if I remember, one fantastic save from uh, uh, from one of the uh, foreign players of Wanta Gig from close range. So hats off to him for really maintaining it because this could have been a bigger, bigger scoreline for the Gig had it not been for his heroics. Here are the highlights. You saw the first two goals. Penalty from Shimomura, Arnel Amita, joining in on the action and this was Manila Montet's response Patrick Rock then gave them a bit of room a chance to relax a bit but unfortunately they relaxed a little too much Henry Pinheiro robbing Mahmoud Ali and putting in a finish to remember and that gave Manila Montet an unlikely goal on the board of course, the three-goal advantage was restored by Hiraishi and Wantagig enjoying their first match in the top flight with the Philippines And our last league. man of the match for today. And our last man of the match for today is Kevin Ingreso of One Tagig FC. Kevin, congratulations. Montet made it difficult for your team, but you still got the win in your debut. Can you talk to us about your team's performance tonight? Uh, well, I think, um, just like you said, uh, Montet made it very difficult for us. Defending very uh, compact, very deep, uh, I think with eight, nine men. So it was very difficult to penetrate, penetrate for us to, to open up the spaces. Um, but I think uh, overall, for the first game, uh, for the for the newly you know, founded club and the newly formed team, it was uh, it was good. Um, we can build on it. Four goals in the second half after a goalless first half. How did you guys turn things around? Uh, we, we, we knew we have, we have to do the, the same thing. We have to keep on pushing. We have to keep on pressing them until we open up the spaces. And eventually, we knew it will come. Um, yeah, luckily, we scored four goals. Kevin, once again, congratulations. Enjoy this win. And that's it from the pitch side for day number two of PFL. Back to you guys. So much, Sydney. And congratulations to one Tagig and Captain Kevin Ingresso on their debut win. So much action to look forward to in the Philippines Football League. Next week, Tagig back in action, this time against the Philippine Air Force. That'll be followed by Stallion Laguna looking to build on their opening weekend victory up against a Loyola FC who will be traveling back from Cebu. And Kaya FC Uleilo continue their title defense against Don Bosco Garelli. Uh, then on Sunday, Manila Diggers will take on Maharlika Tagig. 
Manila Montet back in action, this time against Tuloy FC. And Philippine Army will take on uh, United City FC, desperate to bounce back. Davo Aguilas Yumak will take on Mendiola FC, 9091. And that will be taking place on their home field of the University of Makati Football Stadium. But that's about it for opening weekend of the PFL, Glenn. What a series of matches we've enjoyed so far. Yes, uh, really spectacular, a showcase of goals. And you know what? It has been worth it watching all of these games in one evening. Wow, what an opening weekend we've had, eh? Uh, Philippines football is back and running. Uh, certainly has been a treat to enjoy here and want the gig capping things off here in some style against a Manila Montet that put on a brave display. We hope you enjoyed all the action here from the Rizal Memorial Football Stadium. For my partner, Glenn Casas, my name, Jing Hamlang. Thank you for watching. People always try to put me down on the ground, but I hear this beat jealous because I'm doing right in their minds. In their minds, screw up with me, boy. Don't go right in their minds. Come on, every boy, this a fight. In their minds.